In this video, we will look at open redirect or unvalidated redirect or forward. So the outline of the video is what is unvalidated redirect or forward. Second, demo of the unvalidated redirect or forward and in last real life reports and bounty slash rewards. So first, what is unvalidated redirect or forward? In this security bug, website redirects or send the user to another malicious web page which is crafted by an attacker so that user get trapped into a phishing type attack. Let's see the demo which will give you more clarity on the topic. So here I design a scenario of the unvalidated redirect and forward. As you can see, here is the website and this is the IP address of the website. So this website is nothing but it is a local host which is running on my computer. And this IP address of this website has nothing to do with the unvalidated redirect or forward. Just let us assume that is our trusted website and we use this website on regular basis. So here is a web page of this website. And you can see this web page saying this is my awesome page and here is a link which says click here to go to home page. As I click on this link, I redirect it to the home page. Let's go back to the awesome page. Now if I right click on the browser and go to view page source, I can see there is a dedicated web page to redirect a user from one page to another page of the website and this link is vulnerable to the unvalidated redirect or forward. Let's copy this link and paste it on the browser. This parameter redirect is taking the input and redirect the user from current page to the input page. Now in this web application if this redirect parameter is not checked properly then it is vulnerable to the open redirect and forward. So I am typing here another website for say www.google.com if this page redirects me to the www.google.com that means it can also redirect a user to some malicious website which could be a phishing page let's click enter as you can see it redirect me to the google.com that means it is vulnerable to the unvalidated redirect or forward this is not only the parameter which is vulnerable to redirect there could be a scenario where we enter username and password as soon as we click on login the web application redirecting us to the home page that means the page after the login so there could be a parameter which is redirecting us after giving our username and password so if we can find that parameter and we enter some malicious link then after user logged in it can go to another website which is malicious website so now let's see some real life reports which would be helpful for us. Now as you can see this is a hackerone.com and this is an open report so anyone can view this report. Now let me show you this link. It is a vulnerable link. It was reported and now it is resolved so it is no more reproducible. As you can see this is a maven link app.mavenlink.com and slash logout from mobile parameter is true and written path. So this written path parameter was vulnerable to open redirect. As you can see, this person gives google.com and it redirect the user to the google.com. So it was vulnerable to open redirect and Maven link solved it. Now here you can see the report and now it is resolved. Now the about bounty. So this person gets $25 from Maven link for reporting this bug. Now let's see another kind of redirect. Here you can see this person reports to keybase. If I type keybase.io and after slash I enter some another website, it redirects to me the another website. That means this was another scenario of the open redirect. Now let's see very popular website which is twitter.com which was also vulnerable to open redirect. As you can see this link http dev dot twitter dot com was also vulnerable to open redirect and as you can see it is resolved now and the bounty was of $1,120. Open redirect bug for big companies could be very harmful. 
there are also some program which do not consider it as a harmful bug. That's all for this video. Thank you and have a nice day. In this video, we are going to look at clickjacking security. The outline of the video is first, what is clickjacking? Second, demo using DVWA and at last, hacker one's report. So this is our OWASP page about clickjacking. So it says clickjacking, also known as UI redress attack, is when an attack uses multiple transparent or opaque layers to trick a user into clicking on a button or a link on another page when they were intending to click on the top level page. So explanation of this line will be clear when I give you a demo on DVWA. So for the explanation of what this OS page says, I will show you through DVWA. Although there is no module for clickjacking, but when you see this setup and reset database, there is a button for creating and reset database. So suppose this button is very crucial for us. If I click on this button, then our whole database will be reset. So whatever be the changes that we did will be cleared out. So this is very crucial button for us. And we really do not want to click this button. So here I create a HTML page and in HTML page, you can see I have used an iframe tag. And in that iframe tag, I used an attribute source and the value is our setup page. So if I open this page, you can see, you can see this chance to win an iPod, this part. So th there are two pages. The first page, the inner page is DVWA page and the outer page is my own crafted page you can see here the another button which is click here so now go back to OS page and read it again click jacking also known as UI redress attack so what we did we redress the user interface when an attacker uses multiple transparent or opaque layers as you can see there are two layers the first layer is of DVWA and the another layer is crafted specially crafted layer the, now read it again click jacking also known as UI redress attack when an attacker uses multiple transparent or opaque layer to trick a user into clicking on a button or link on another page when they were intending to click on the top level page so this crafted page chances to win an iPod and the button here this click here button so this is our upper layer the user intended to click on upper layer button but he will be fooled to click the lower layer button and and this way he will be harmed so this is the click jacking attack you can read on OWSP more about it if you are a web application developer and you want to know how to defend against click jacking here it is you can read about it here now let's see a demo so this is our DVW page in this page we have a setup button as I told you so this button can be very harmful for us because whatever with the changes we did in database will be cleared out if I click this button. So what attacker did, he create his own page and in that page he uses iframe and in that iframe he loaded the setup page and he also created a button which says click here using some CSS what he will do, he will hide the upper layer button by changing the opacity. So this is CSS property opacity and what it is doing, it will change the opacity it will make the lower layer transparent let's make it for 0 0.5 and see what are the effects let's refresh this page and you can see it will get little transparent not fully transparent if we change opacity to 0 you will see there will be no lower layer if I go up and I see chance to win an iPod if I go down there will be a button as a user I will think that it is a chance to win an iPod and I'll click the button but I am getting fooled by the attacker and the reset button will be clicked this way our click get hijacked the name comes click jacking this means our click get hijacked so it is click hijacking and that's make click jacking so let's try it So as you can see, now I change it to 0 0.1. This is for showing purpose 
in real attacks uh, they make it to zero only so that the lower layer does not show but here for seeing the demo what i did is i make it to 0.1 so as soon as i click on this button the setup will be reset so i clicked on it and you can see the database has been created i don't know whether you are able to see it or not because if i change the opacity again then this will be vanished let's let's do it let's do it again one more time by changing opacity 0.5 and I refresh the page now if I click here you can see the button if I click here you can see the lower layer button clicked and changes has been made so this is click jacking now we will see the real life report so this was the click jacking report reported to Yelp and the report number is 214087 so this person reported to Yelp and it was resolved and the amount was of $100 so here it is tricking a user into unknowingly bookmarking unwanted business adding events to their profile they are interested in editing their star rating on reviews so this guy shows the yelp an attacker can trick a user into unknowingly click on this click on the button and can be fooled to do these three things and he was awarded with hundred dollar bounty the another important thing that i want to tell you is the click checking book is not acceptable by every bug bounty program before reporting them click jacking you must read their policy what are in the scope and what are not in the scope as you can see in this report 146948 zomato disclosed zomato closed it as informative you can see here zomato reply thank you for detailed report according to our security policy click checking won't be considered as a security issue we will try avoid this issue in future we are closing this report as informative so some programs accept this bug and gives bounty and some programs are consider who do not consider this as a security issue so this is it for this video thanks and have a nice day in this video we are going to look at a poc video which was reported to khan academy and in this poc video we will see a little bug which leads to click jacking attack the click jacking video in this course then first go and understand the concept of click jacking and then continue with this video as you can see here it is a web editor on khanacademy.org where students learn html so as you can see the iframe is restricted in this editor because of click jacking attack so it says sorry but security restriction on this site prevent you from using iframe tags as you can see that to prevent click jacking attack developer restricted the iframe tag as well as embed tag and object tag you can see here when object tag is used this shows the restriction and disallowed the tag and same with embed tag but now the frame set tag and frame tag is allowed so developer forget to restrict those tags and those tags can be used for click jacking attack. So when frame set and frame tag used as you can see the Khan Academy web page is inserted in frame. So this was a very little bug which leads to click jacking attack and it was reported to Khan Academy now it is no longer reproducible. So this could be an example of weak web application security. Thank you and have a nice day.